Hi, I'm Dave Wilson of Wilson Audio, and it's my great pleasure to uh, be here in Chicago uh, with, again, uh, the Alex Loudspeaker uh, partnered uh, with our uh, dealer, uh, Paragon, and uh, with uh, D'Agostino, with DCS, Transparent, and with HRS. Right, thank you very much, Dave. Paragon is one of the leading dealers in the world. Uh, a lot of people don't know it, that it might have the largest sales figures in uh, North America. And uh, Larry, who's a proprietor, is a wonderful gentleman to deal with. And Dave Wilson is a giant in our industry. Thank you very much for the introduction. We can't wait to hear the loudspeaker. <laughs> it's my pleasure. Thank you, Dave. There's been a lot of work for decades on linear frequency response in loudspeakers. And there are some very, very linear speakers available. But what has been ignored by most of the companies is any attempt to adjustability in the time domain. And I received a patent on that in 1981, uh, 1984. So um, that's why the boxes. Uh, and uh, so in voicing the system, I want the sound to sound as real as possible. and so. There are, are certain criteria, and I want to demonstrate those criteria to you. Uh, the first one that I want to demonstrate is harmonic expression. And this uh, first piece is an a cappella choir piece, and, uh, and so the harmonics uh, have a vowel series of sound, and it has an openness to it that should exist. So this a cappella group is called Sonos, S-O-N-O-S, and uh, uh, so I'll be playing that. It's my excavation to Deus Cum
the loudness uh, okay? You're the first group, so is the loudness okay for you? Okay. Um, so this next piece is uh, also a choral piece, uh, and um, but it's re it's it's not recorded the same way. So the last one you had closely mic'd, obviously studio process, but nicely done. This next one is a recording made for the Proprius label back in the 70s. The recording engineer, Bertel Alving, very, very talented, minimal miking recording engineer, he used microphones made by a company called Pearl Microphone Company, and their microphones uh, are outstanding in their ability to capture and balance the ambient sound of a hall with the direct sound. synchronicity in the time domain, that is very important in reproducing accurately the ambience of halls with their numerous reflections. Um, and um, so that, that's a good demonstration of it. So we want to have the harmonic expression. We want to have the silence between the notes devoid of noise, but filled with presence, filled with musical evidence. And I think that that recording is, is a good example of that. <laughs> 